Hey Strikers, this is SF and it's time for another edition of Striker Chains and I am back with another run of Striker Chains for people that just started. It's basically for you guys in bringing in uh, all the farmables in the current series into farmables which you can change to other farmables and so on and so forth. So all my monsters on my team will be farmable monsters or really easy to get monsters. So for instance, this time it's going to be all about Hisoka and then we're going to be uh, bringing Sentry Dragon, which you can use, uh, which you can get from the normal dungeons, and Tiger X. Maybe some people that just started with Hunter Hunter might not have gotten Tiger X for free in the mail. Check your mailbox if you have her, have her or not. But uh, if you're starting at like at early November, you should be able to get it. But if you don't, then bring like another Hisoka if you really want, or have a friend that brings another Hisoka, or bring a Hatcher Monster. And this time it is going to be Lady Rokujo. I, for once, love. Uh, I, for one, would really like Lady Rokujo just because of her Slayer. She's a Samurai Slayer. Uh, from time to time, you see me use it uh, recently in the Sacred Ground stuff. But as a monster herself, it's not that bad. A Slayer and a a Slayer and a no gravity barrier on her. But for Lady Lokujo, it's not that bad, even if you don't have no block monsters. So you can bring any of your Hatcher monsters into the dungeon as long as it's not that laser focused. Like some people might have UDL because they reroll UDL, but I think like Pandora will be a lot better than UDL in this dungeon. Just because either version of Pandora, really. But it's all about. Uh, blocks, that's the main gimmick, but is not 100% needed. But either way, Hisoka is a no block monster, so why not bring Hisoka there? And uh, Hisoka with the no block can go for these wall, uh, for these wall pinches, as people would call it. But these blocks do go down, so just clear off miles if you cannot reach the boss. If you can, then by all means, deal damage. And he's still got doing work with his bump combo critical. I really love it. Okay, next is Mr. Kirua. And I missed the com I missed the weak point completely. I was trying to get the Hisoka as well. Wait away. Hisoka for the finish. Hopefully. Oh, he leaked out. That is not great. Okay, there we go. There's this. Mini boss down and Tiger X. I guess I'll just hit Kira for the meteor. There we go. Or the lightning, not the meteor. Meteor is the Sentry Dragon. Okay, next is probably second mini boss. Okay, and Hisoka is a little bit sketchy, so let's move him a little bit. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And pinch between if you have no block monsters. And technically, the only bounce no block monster in my team right now is Hisoka, so there's that. But I generally have Pierce monsters. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with it. But in terms of the boss attacks, the only thing that you really have to be careful is the horizontal laser. As long as you're away from that horizontal line, you'll be fine in terms of damage. Uh, as you see, there are some of those wind machines. Uh, once they activate, they'll suck your monsters in, and they'll be sucking your monsters in within range of your of the boss's horizontal laser. So either clear them off with pinching, or just avoid it completely after the fact or before the fact. I don't think the range is that big for it, so it's not. Uh, it's not gonna be like if you get sucked in, you're done for type of thing. Okay, boss. And let's just. Uh, let's just hit the boss for now. And just be sure to not be in the horizontal of the boss. And the boss is stunned, which is nice. Although the bomb couple of Hisoka basically woke her up. And now the first stage, there is a permanent block up top. So 
the only no blocks you can get, and that's the horizontal there that you should be avoiding. And only no blocks can get up there to deal damage. Even if you don't have no block monsters, you can finish her off with bomb combos for the most part, or with pierce monsters like uh, like Kira there. So let's get up there with Hisoka, and I miss completely. I miss completely. It's fine for now. Three more turns into a rumble attack, but worst case scenario, I'll be using Kirua's strike shot to finish off the boss. I don't really remember her rumble attack. I wouldn't think it's that crazy, but let's just use it just in case. Kamuru! And it also lasts, lasts to the next round, so it's kind of like two, sh two strike shots at one. Okay, there we go. And healed up. Next, Hisoka. Eh, not bad, I guess. Let's just go up and down and hit the weak point. Just stay off of the horizontal and you should be fine. Nice. And next is Tiger X. Yeah, the range of the wind is not that big, so even Tiger X couldn't get sucked in. Okay, horizontal. Good. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> For the homies over there. Okay. Good two shots from Kira kills the boss on both bars. And last phase starting off with Hisuka. And let's just use Bungie Gum. Just to increase the speed up and stuff. I'm not sure if this is the best, but who cares? It is a pinchable spot, but I'm not sure it's the right angle. Uh not the best angle, but it's fine. Oh, there's the pinch too. And the second part of the bungee gum doing. OP work, 16k, I mean 1.6 million is really really strong for a farm bolt, that is 16 turns. And let's just use, um, what you call it, dragon because there's no other point of not using it. And now next shot is the horizontal laser, I can use Tigger X's strike shot to deal damage but I don't want to take the risk of dealing more, uh, getting more damage done to me, so I'm just going to move her out. Oh, I moved three of my guys in. Ouch. That hurt. Okay. And finally, should be Kisoka to finish it off with the pinch. Right there. And done. So, like I said, Lady Lokojo is a very strong monster in my opinion. Uh, the only bad part is her horizontal laser, but one Slayer, I think it's a Slayer M as well, Samurai Slayer M. No gravity barrier on her abilities, piercing strike shot for her strike, sh uh, for her SS, which is really strong in my opinion. Uh, deals with destructors, can get you hearts and stuff, and of course deals damage if you just want to go horizontal or vertical. It's the only bad part is the horizontal laser, but even so, really nice stats and really nice abilities and SS. But that's pretty much it for me, hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to click the annotation in the middle. And I also have a special discount code for you on Japan Code Supply. If you want to buy some Japanese gift cards, including iTunes cards, thank you. And hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.